Hi, get. Oh. Ooh. Stay where you're told. That's me back, young microphone. Stay there, please. My top lip is going to be sweating throughout this video, so we're just going to have to pretend we don't see it because it's flipping roasting in here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 10 makeup brushes for life. I firmly believe, having gone through this selection process, that this is actually a very realistic achievable number of brushes. I've definitely found over the years, makeup brushes and investing in makeup brushes is absolutely worth it. They make such a huge difference. I'm definitely an amateur, I'm not a professional makeup artist, and makeup brushes, amazing quality makeup brushes have made a huge difference to my application and how my makeup looks and the finish and all of that, and how easy and quick it is to apply makeup and have it look how I want it to look and have it blended perfectly. I feel like makeup brushes are absolutely worth the investment, but they are a hefty investment. So the fewer you have to fork out on, the better. You guys know if you've been here before that I am definitely a minimalist on the inside, living in the body of a creator. So my collection and everything that I have as far as makeup, brushes, etc., is far more than I would personally choose or want to have if I didn't have my channel and I wasn't reviewing and trying out new products all the time specifically for my channel. But I really like to keep a condensed collection. I don't want a thousand brushes. And actually I did a bit of a declutter of my brushes recently and I keep like three little pots of brushes. I don't have a huge volume of brushes, but doing this, I realized actually how few you really need and where I would recommend investing if you, like me, just want to invest in the key brushes that you need and know more, this is the video for you. So the first brush I would choose for this 10 makeup brushes for life would be my MAC 242. This is the old school version, the natural hair version. It's a flat brush. It's the perfect brush, my favorite brush for applying shimmers to the lid. It's just the exact size and shape that I need personally for my lid shade. It picks up the perfect amount. I've never met a shimmer. It doesn't apply perfectly and seamlessly with minimal fallout. And it could be a versatile little number as well. You could definitely apply creams with this one and it, it deals with those beautifully as well. So, I mean, an absolute necessity to have a lid shade brush and this would be the one. Now, I definitely found like I needed at least a couple of blending brushes. The first one I chose was my Refa 16 brush. This is probably like the largest, fluffiest blending brush that I have in my collection. It's definitely the one that I always reach for as my first shadow brush, the first brush I go in with in the crease. It just it applies a nice light wash, very easy to build up from there and very easy to blend. It's also a brush that I go back to a lot to just blend edges because it's super fluffy and it blends product really, really nicely. I also feel like you really need a small crease brush or I certainly do having hooded eyes. I need something that's gonna get into the hood, into that crease and allow me to build up definition and build up a smokier eye if I want it to do my outer V and so the brush I've chosen for this one is the 01 another absolute favorite from Refer. It has a bit of a flatter shape so it's ideal as I said for getting right into that crease right through the hood and to be able to apply into the outer V and be quite precise with it as well I just really love the shape of this one but it also it packs a punch it packs quite a bit of product on if you want it to but it also is quite fluffy as well so it really is a great bl blending brush again it's really good for blending edges so I feel like between the 16 and the 01 this is pretty much everything that I'd need as far as crease and smoking out and building up product along with MAC 242 going on the lid this will pretty much this little trio will pretty much do the majority of eyeshadow work that I need. And then a couple of detail brushes that I just can't live without. I use these every time I do my makeup. First up, the Refa 26. This is the brush for me for the lower lash line. It's just the absolute perfect size and shape. It applies it beautifully, the right amount, very easy to blend out, Not never too much, never needs a lot of building. It's just ideal for that purpose. I use this literally every single time I do my makeup. If 
I'm using, if I'm smoking out my lower lash line, if I'm putting something on my lower lash line, this is the brush every single time. Game changer. Now for the only Bristles Beauty brush that I have in this lineup. This is the P06 RF and it's the diddiest little number. It's so cute. And this for me is the perfect inner corner highlight and brow arch highlight. It's just the perfect small little size, flat enough. It picks up the right amount of product and it just distributes it exactly where you need it. It's just the exact shape and size that I need for that job. I also quite often use this for like the bridge of my nose highlight because again, it's just so perfect and diddy. And it's just, again, works with creams or powders as well. So ideal for that purpose because it can always pick up any type of product. So as you can see, I didn't really intentionally do this, but I do have five eye brushes and five face brushes, which I guess it makes sense, you know, makes sense. So moving on to face brushes now, the first one that there's no way I could live without, and it's my Sonia G Detail Pro. I know you guys know how I use this. I use this for my under eye setting. So my under eye setting powder with my powder. McGrath banana powder obsessed with it and this brush the dream combination I could also use this I don't generally I use a different brush but I could absolutely if I was trying to live off of 10 brushes use this to set my concealer on my before I go in with my eyeshadow as well it's definitely more versatile than the way that I use it because I just love it for that specific purpose of setting my concealer it just applies the lightest wash and it's quite small so it is very easy to focus it exactly where you want to not make a mess and not pick up too much product it's lovely and fluffy light and gentle on that under eye area as well absolute must have for me and next up one of the newest brushes to my collection this is the detail brush from the Sonia G Lotus collection these handles give me life but this is like just become an absolute love of my life, this brush. I use this today for both highlight and blush and it just applies those products exactly how I want it to. It's very light, airy, fluffy and small. So it's very easy to apply a very small natural wash of products. It's never too much. It works beautifully with super blinding highlights to actually melt them into the skin and give a really natural look, even though the highlight itself might be quite beaming, this is going to just diffuse it beautifully. I've said before, I have quite a narrow face, not a lot of space to work with here. And because I have a long shape of my face, I need to keep things like blush quite high and quite far away from the center of my face, which is tricky because there's not a lot of room to play with. And I am quite heavy handed. I have huge hands, by the way. So it's tricky for me. And this brush has just made it an absolute whiz and the easiest thing ever because it's so small and dainty, the angle, it's very easy for me to keep products where I want them to and just apply a soft beautiful wash of color with my blush and it just is gorgeous with highlight as well it applies highlight exactly how I like it a beautiful glowing natural melt into the skin light as opposed to giving you a streak or a stripe or leaving a cast on the skin and because it's versatile in that way it means I don't need as many brushes because I can use this perfectly for blush and highlight. Next up an oldie but a very very goodie this is the Sonia G Face Pro a really quite large brush but very versatile. This is what I use at the moment for my bronzer, literally every day. It's my favorite bronzer brush. I like the angle of it. I like that it can get all the way around my hairline and it gives me a bit of a carved out cheek definition. But because it's quite large and it has a lot of bristles, it's also very versatile, can be used for setting powder as well. You absolutely could set your whole face with this brush. So again, it cuts down when you're trying to be a minimalist and keep as few brushes as possible. This is gonna do a good couple of jobs for you in one. So yeah, my favorite bronzer brush bar none. It just applies it very, you can use this very lightly. I like to apply my bronzer to begin with in like a patting motion because I generally don't set my foundation. So I like to lay down by patting and it just never applies a lot at once that leaves me with a problem. It just applies a little wash of color and then it just builds and builds and builds up. A very versatile, again, Sony G's brushes are always very versatile, very cleverly thought out. But this one, it's just, it's perfect for me for bronzer. But if I was trying to cut down my number of brushes, it could absolutely do the job of setting 
as well. And next up, again, a very new brush to my collection, and this is the base brush from the Lotus Collection. I really was torn between this brush and the base brush from the Fusion series, my two absolute favorite foundation brushes of all time. This one, the reason I've chosen this in this scenario is just because of the extra versatility that it offers when you're trying to cut down on brushes. So if I was trying to choose between this or the Fusion series base brush, generally I reach for the Fusion to apply my foundation or my tinted moisturizer like today. But if I was trying to cut down on brushes, I think I would pick this one over that one because it not only is going to apply foundation just as beautifully as the Fusion Base brush does, but because of this really unique narrow shape, you could also use this brush for cream contour, cream blush, liquid highlight, cream highlight, because it has that lovely narrow shape and you can really use it to sculpt out. I love using this like as a flat brush on the face. When I'm applying foundation with this brush, I, I kind of swipe it and pat it rather than buff Thing, but you, it's so versatile because you can then go in and carve out using a cream bronzer or a cream contour. It's the perfect size and shape for that and cleaning up edges. It gets all around your nose. You could also use this easily for concealer because it's got that brilliant shape and that very precise shape. You can carve out brows with it. It's again, it's just that hair more versatile because of its like very unique different shape it gives you those extra options those extra products you could use this for the fusion series base brush you could absolutely use for cream bronzer as well and I have done but I think that one just gives you a few there's a few extra jobs this one can perform and they're both brilliant for foundation my absolute favorite foundation brush this well brushes both of them they tie for first place but this one I just feel like it could do more jobs than the fusion version last but not least the Sonia G smooth buffer not a brush I ever thought I would use a lot I bought this kind of for review purposes to see what it did to see if I was going to become a buffer a buffing person and guess what I definitely did I rarely do my makeup without using this now and i almost never put any product on it. It's just a final step. I use it to just go around my bronzer, to just push back any product that's come too far into the center of my face, to blend out where my bronzer is, to blend out around my hairline. I really don't need to use any product on this. It does the job on its own, just bare naked, doing its best buffing job, living its best buffing life. I really could not imagine doing my makeup without it, very regularly so it had to be included and although it seems like because you don't really use it to lay down a product and buffing is not a step everybody does or talks about that much it seems like one that you wouldn't need but I have come to really rely on this brush like I it corrects and rubs out all my mistakes so there you have it. These are my 10 brushes for life. Luckily enough five face and five eye brushes, which I promise I did not do on purpose. When I was kind of picking these out, I really felt like looking at this, do you know what, I could absolutely do my makeup every day and not need another brush here. It's really been an interesting little experiment for me because I feel like it's definitely shown me at least how few brushes and products probably we really actually need in our lives. This for me, I'm confident the vast majority of people, the vast majority of the time, won't need to reach for a brush outside of these 10. I'd love to know what your thoughts are, what brushes you would absolutely have to include if you were only keeping a few of your makeup brushes, how many brushes you have, how many you really use and reach for on a daily basis. Please let us know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye.